Hey guys and welcome back. Well really more like welcome me back. I'm back from the dead. I've had a really long hiatus not because I wanted to but because this past semester I was literally working. I still am working but I had that on top of my normal school schedule and I just whew, had no time. <laughs> I had no time to do YouTube or anything even remotely fun, but here I am back again with you guys and I have so many great videos planned up for this summer, but I have to start with this one. So I put up a little poll a week or so ago being like, what do you guys want to see? And like the far and away answer was, we want to see a sketchbook tour and all the work that you've done this past semester. And the comments were like, well, we really want tutorials too. And I, don't worry guys, I got you. There will be plenty of beefy tutorials this summer. But hey, I wanted to show all the stuff that I've been doing since I haven't been here. So I'll gonna, I'm will i gonna show that. The sketchbook tour that I will be showing is disclaimer, not like the normal ones that I do. The things that I normally show you guys are very like curated almost. Like when I sit down and I sketch just for fun in a sketchbook that's just for me, it always ends up looking very aesthetically pleasing and there's not a whole lot of thumbnails or like rough sketches. It's just me doing a lot of like more finished, finished sketches. I don't know how you want to put it, but it always comes out very pretty and nice looking. Something that's good for the internet. My actual sketchbook that I use for school is disgusting. And it, <laughs> it's full of like really smeary, more graphite messy, rough crap that I have to do in order to get ready for the actual finished pieces that I need in school. So because this past semester I was just bogged down with work and I didn't have any time to make a cute perfect little sketchbook, I just ended up spending all my time in my more messy school heavy sketchbook. So you guys are going to be able to see like the before, like the crap, <laughs> and then what it actually turns into. So you're going to see a whole different side of my process that I've never actually shown on the internet before, which is pretty cool. Before I get into that, I do have a question for you guys. What kind of stuff are you most interested in seeing this summer? I can't, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be on YouTube this upcoming fall and spring because it's going to be my senior year of art school. And for those of you who don't know, senior year is hell because I, I have my thesis in my portfolio and I might have my job and who knows. So I'll definitely be cranking it out this summer, but I want to know what you guys are like needing from me. Are you guys missing the beefy tutorials? Are you missing, I don't know, rants? I don't know. Anything that you guys are interested in, let me know down below. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna start showing you guys what I've been up to for the past few months or something. So let's get into that. Okay, so here is the sketchbook itself. I don't remember the dimensions. It's one of these kinds. <laughs> and before anyone starts asking me, oh, what kind of sketchbook is it? I don't remember. The back has this A on it. It says alt alternatives. I don't remember. I don't remember where I bought it. I don't remember what kind it is. It's just a basic drawing sketchbook. Okay, out of the way, let's get into it. So I had like a liberal arts class, meaning I have a lot of like stupid, not stupid, but like random notes. So forgive me for that kind of crap. Okay, so this is like the first semi-important thing. So we had to do this assignment called transfiguration, where you have to Pick an animal, I guess, that you like or something and show, like, illustrate yourself turning into that animal. So I decided to do a hive of bees. And this is my narrative class, so everything we did had to be, like, either storyboarded or comic style. And I'm not a big fan of storyboarding, so I did comic style for quite a few of the assignments. And this was just me plotting out how I wanted to do it. I didn't want to do, like, a basic, like, panel, 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 panel. I didn't want to do it like that. I like it when the layouts are kind of interesting, so this was me kind of, like, playing around with the composition. And then this was when I was still doing traditional line art, like doing the line art traditionally. And then, hold on, I got to make sure that this is focused. <laughs> I was still doing the line art traditionally and then putting it into Photoshop. So here's me doing the sketches. Here's me screwing up a sketch. So these were like the individual panels of me turning into a hive of bees. And I ended up doing... An illustration for that which I will show in a cut at some point. <laughs> and here's more illustrations for it. So another class that I had was called uh, digital illustration. So the way the class worked was we would come into class with some sketches and then we would have four hours to draw like hell 
I just draw like four to five hours. No, no, it was four hours. Four hours to draw like hell. And then whatever you had finished at the end of class was, that was it. That was all you were done. And that was every single week. And it was stressful as hell. The first assignment was a rally race. And we had like, what, eight characters? Characters and their cars and any headgear or whatever. And we had to illustrate them doing a race. So it was an extremely difficult assignment, as you might imagine. But I decided to do these like little animal creature thingamajiggies. Okay, gotta make sure I'm focused. So I ha I did like little stats just so I can kind of, I don't know, f get a feel for the characters. I got my sheep and my jaguar and my little piggy. <laughs> and the, the, we had to have a bad guy. So that was the Batman. Oh, well, Batman. My snail dude. This was like, what, an eagle, a bird kind of thing. Uh, elephant, monkey, yeah, snake, and then I was doing some like crappy thumbnail kind of stuff. I know, I know. It's when I said it was a messy sketchbook, I really, really meant it. And then I was trying to figure out like how the hell am I gonna fit everyone, and it turned into these god awful thumbnails. And I'll show you what that illustration turned into in a little minute. I don't actually remember what every single page in the sketchbook is. Oh, that's right, I did this sketch because I kind of. This is kind of like how I thought the drawing, the illustration would look. I did this sketch right before class. So this was kind of like what the thought process was. I had that, more crappy thumbnails. Then the next assignment for that class was doing an illustration of Cinderella. And, we, and he told us we had to do objects. The other thing about this class that was very stressful was he wouldn't give us the full assignment the week before to do sketches of. He would only give us half an idea. So we, <laughs> it was a mess. Anyway. It, it was all about getting us on our toes. So we went to like an antique store and I, there were all these really cool shoes and I just drew some shoes from online and because of course Cinderella has her shoes, right? Shoe, singular. And then again, I was still doing things traditionally. So these are all the inks that I ended up doing on tracing paper. So I've got a little kitty cat and I had my Cinderella be like mailroom themed. I don't want to get into the story, but it, the idea was like, She'd be working in a mailroom and be like long distance pen pals with the prince before she even met him. So these are all pieces of the illustration. This is me not knowing how to draw a human. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, just like more dorky sketches and then some character ideas. We also had to do, I forget what they're called, some kind of letter thingamajig. Fancy letter. So that was my letter. And that was me trying to figure out what Cinderella could potentially look like. Uh, yeah. And that's a little bit closer to what the illustration itself looked like. Kind of the composition I was going for. And I'll show what that actually looks like in a bit. These are notes. Don't worry about it. The next week of illustrations that we had was first date, last date. So we had to do, you know, a couple what the first date and the last date looks like. And it was at a diner, so we have all these little inks of seats. Um, I did this illustration of a couple, and of course, because I'm so bad at drawing humans, I didn't actually end up using it. Um, I have these sketches. These are really what the characters ended up looking like. Kind of faceless blobs. Because I can do that. <laughs> and these were like some other ideas for the first date, last date. It never ended up actually happening. This was me getting really fed up about, oh, how do I draw humans? And so I was kind of playing around with like style or whatever. More messing around. Just trying to figure out what the heck I like. Cause I don't like, ugh, I don't like drawing humans, guys. I think you know this, but I don't like drawing humans. And I have to get over that fear cause you kind of can't get away with, you know, not doing humans. So some more no's for class. And then we had to do an illustration for my narrative class about Noah's Ark. You could stretch it as much as you wanted to, and that's what I did. So these are like the super basic sketches. This is the more like refined sketch. So the idea was like God is a chef and the earth is like a cake ball and the flood is just him rolling it into the dough. I know, so sacrilegious, right? And then this was for like the first time ever, I like actually colored on tracing paper. And then I ended up putting that into Photoshop and it made it look like something different. Um, but that was, that's what that looks like. And then the, for digital, for the digital illustration class, we had to illustrate a recipe 
So here are some sketches for that. I ended up doing apple pie. This was for another assignment. I was I wanted to illustrate the house on Mango Street. So I have some un, some really rough initial ideas of what the different scenes would look like. I had this idea of like doing all the panels in a house shape. And then I also had the idea of, oh, well, that's look that looks very, very flat. What if I did it like this? That kind of stuff. Main tags. This is potentially what the main character, Esperanza, would look like. We also had to do an illustration of Romeo and Juliet. So I wanted it to be Mexican themed. I thought it'd be really cool if we took it out of basic Europe. Uh, so I used like the Dia de los Muertos idea and kind of did stuff like that. So I was doing a lot of like, oh, how is it going to look? How are all the panels going to look? So it looks like that. And then this was like the real, real sketch, which looks like this. I was so happy that Romeo and Juliet actually fit all the freaking letters. You have no idea, guys. So that looks like this. And then this was just some more digging around before I decided that no, this was definitely the best way to go. This is another Romeo and Juliet sketch that never ended up coming to life, but it's there. Then we had to do an illustration. The poem is called uh, Hitler's First Photograph. Yes, Hitler. Adolf Hitler. The whole poem is about how everything evil starts off innocent, right? But it was talking about it through the eyes of like baby Hitler. At one point, Hitler was a tiny, cute, adorable baby that his mother loved and everyone loved and he was adorable. That, that was like the essence of the story, of the poem. So, you know, our Soviet Polish professor was like, we're illustrating this. <laughs> So this is what I ended up doing. So the first idea was like, what if like it was like a baby with the mobile and there was like guns and trucks and everything and tanks. Uh, and then I had this idea of like, oh, what if it's the baby and it's dreaming of its future and it's like all these different things. And then finally I settled on, oh, what if I did like a scrapbook? And you can see that there's more pages that are gonna come up, but you can just see like the cutesy side. So then I ended up drawing Hitler a whole bunch of times. This is such a bad, like, I hate, don't, please don't roast me in the comments for saying that. It's just, I had to draw it. So I had to draw Hitler as a kid. That's art school, guys. I had to do some planning for thesis, which is why I have a mind map. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of sketches. I'm actually going to illustrate this book called Witch Baby, but that's a story for another video. So I have these character sketches, which are super messy. And I'm sorry that you can't really see much of anything. I will do as best as I can in post-production to make sure that this is all easy enough for you guys to see. More character sketching of different characters from that book. Planning and sketching. It's so messy, guys. But this is how I always tell you guys you're supposed to do your sketchbook, so, you know. And then I've been, I've been drawing a lot of heads lately. Again, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life. So I did these sketches, you know, when I was just waiting during reviews. More heads. And heads. <laughs> and heads. And I did that in an evening while I was watching Netflix comedy specials. It was great. And I think that's the end. Yeah, that is my, my super, super, super messy sketchbook. So now I'm going to show you the final results. So this was the rally race that I ended up doing. I'll zoom in for you guys. It was a very long illustration because the idea was that the illustration would go above text, like in a kid's storybook. So here's the finished illustration. The stale man's winning. <laughs> this was the Cinderella illustration. This was another one of those things where like he wanted the text to have like this weird angle so the concept or the illustration itself kind of had this weird look to it but there's my lovely cinderella she's getting ready <laughs> and then that illustration we also had to do the letter and some so this would this would have like text going down here but i had these little micro illustrations and thumbnails not thumbnails ah spot illustrations is what it's called some spot illustrations and yeah, the letter. Noah's Ark cosmic cake balls thing. So I'll I'll zoom in for you guys. Chef God presents Noah's cosmic cake balls. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. But then he got hungry. Humans don't like frosting much. But oh well. <laughs> I think it's funny. 
but y'all might not agree. This was the Hitler's first photograph poem. So originally this had so many more details on the pages, but my professor was like, you need to tone it down. So yeah, here's what I ended up doing with that ridiculous assignment. This was the first and last date. I had to be in the same setting, but it had to show that definitely like things had changed, right? So first date and last date. I did a lot of, um, what's it called? Experimenting with how I do things digitally this semester, which is why some things have a different look than others. I didn't have too many thumbnails of this, but this was like the how to bake apple pie idea. So I got all my own ingredients and we've got this little, little kitty character who's here to help you out. I really want to illustrate like an entire uh, cookbook that's just illustrations like this. I think that'd be really, really fun. Romeo and Juliet piece, which is going to be very, very difficult for me to show in one in one screen. We're for that Romeo, parting is such sweet sorrow. And then that's them dead. Uh, for never was a tale of more woe than that of Juliet and Romeo. So yeah, that's this is what that ended up looking like. This was my final for the digital painting class. We had to create our own repeating patterns. So these are the patterns that I ended up creating, and then this is them like on a thing, right? Like as an actual thing. And another thing was my house on Mango Street illustration. So I ended up doing, I ended up showing the houses, and then I ended up doing all the little thumbnails, or not thumbnails, like, it's like a comic, you know, those little panels. So yeah, if you've read the book, it's really, really good. If you've read the book, you know that it's a whole bunch of, like, vignettes stitched together. So it actually, I feel like this format worked. And then there's a couple other things that I'll have to show. Anyway, this is what I've been up to. So yeah, here I am again, and... I hope you guys enjoyed, or at the very least found something slightly useful about, <laughs> about this process or something. Um, it's not a terrible amount of work because I really only had like two studio classes, but I'm pretty happy with what I did this semester and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Of course, comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all those little stupid commands. Catch me on my other social media and I'll see you literally in a week. I will not disappear from you guys. <laughs> I love you, I miss you, mwah, and I'll see you later. Bye guys.